Governor Greg Abbott has drawn a line in the sand when it comes to vaccination mandates. As we reported yesterday, he has signed an executive order that bans those mandates here in Texas. The order says no entity, including private businesses, can enforce COVID-19 vaccine mandates on workers or customers. The governor is also asking the state legislature to pass a similar ban into law. Abbott says his executive order will be lifted once that legislation is passed. His executive order is in response to the Biden administration's plan to announce new vaccine rules for employers. Governor Abbott calls Biden's plan another example of federal overreach and accuses the administration of bullying private entities. He says vaccine mandates would threaten the state's recovery from the pandemic. So what exactly is the Biden administration pushing for? Well, under the president's plan, all companies with more than 100 workers will have to either require employees to be immunized or undergo weekly testing. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, is now preparing the nationwide workplace vaccination rule. The president has also mandated shots for federal contractors, most federal workers, and virtually all health care workers. Governor Abbott does say the COVID-19 vaccine is safe, effective, and the best defense against the virus. But he says it should be voluntary and never enforced or forced. What do local employers say about that? Well, the owner of some well-known restaurants and bars telling us it would be bad for business. Javier Guerra joins us now in the studio with what they had to say, Javier. Hey, Pat, the owner of Water Street Restaurant says if Governor Greg Abbott did not sign his executive order, his businesses would have suffered more than they already have during the pandemic. On Monday, Governor Greg Abbott signed an executive order that prohibits any entity in Texas from requiring proof of vaccination. Richard Lomax, the president of Water Street Restaurants, agrees. Lomax believes a federal vaccine mandate would have made it even more difficult for the restaurant industry that is still suffering and trying to recover from the pandemic. He says the federal mandate made him worry. For that to come in and put be another potential uh, break and, and, and disincentive to work would just been really hard on us. So we're grateful and hope that sticks that we have that, um, you know, uh, shelter from the federal mandate. And coming up at 10, you'll hear from our Chris Six News political analyst on the situation, as well as an employee from a local business who disagrees with the governor's mandate. Pac, back to you. A lot of reaction to that, Javier. Appreciate that. The executive order, by the way, issued yesterday by Governor Abbott is two pages long. Hey, we've posted the entire document. You'll find it on our website at ChrisTV.com.